We are now awaiting the final statements from the Vilnius summit in Lithuania. Now, as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky meets NATO leaders in Lithuania, Russia launched a wave of kamikaze drone attacks on Kiev and other cities for a second night in a row. Now, according to Ukrainian military, Russia launched a total of 15 of the Iranian drones on Ukraine overnight. Ukraine's defense forces say it shot down 11 of them. Heavy fighting was also reported in east and southeastern Ukraine. Both Russia and Ukraine claim to have repelled enemy attacks on Tuesday. Ukrainian General Alexander Tanovsky has said battles were raging throughout the sectors with his forces repelling 27 enemy attacks. He estimates several hundred Russian troops to be dead and wounded in the last 24 hours. Officials say Ukrainian army had pushed back a Russian advance backed by artillery strikes near two towns north of Bakhmut. Russia also outlined a successful defense of areas near the city. The Russian Defense Ministry also said its forces had repelled nine attempted Ukrainian advances in eastern Donetsk region. On Monday, Ukraine said it controlled parts of the strategic village of Klishchivka, which enables it to fire on targets in Bakhmut. In the south, Ukraine says it has retaken a class of villages in the early stages of a drive towards the Sea of Azov. With this, it aims to sever Russia's land bridge linking eastern Ukraine to the Crimean Peninsula. Ukrainian President Zelensky says that in both south and southeast, the early stages of Ukrainian counteroffensive is going as planned. However, he wished the advances were faster. Russian forces still hold vast tracts of land after more than 500 days of war, reportedly around 17% of Ukrainian territory. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.